Hey, my legion, what's going on? Yeah, I didn't even look at the camera. Hey, uh, a couple of things I got earlier today. Whenever I'm done with uh, Trav's package and Cat W. Magic package, I got some. At work, they had like a Halloween thing. They had four uh, big size candy bars left, and yeah, I got them. But usually, I'll be honest, I work there really cheap. You know, I don't think no one would be watching this. I get in trouble. I got four of these. So when I'm done with Cat's videos, I'll be reviewing these. And also, uh, with the Halloween candy uh, being discounted and stuff like that, I got, like, there's one thing I wanted to review, but I thought they wanted too much for it. But I got discounted. I got a pack of five of these for $1.69. These are the Cadbury Scream Eggs. I'll probably do a review of these sometime. Like I said, I'm done with Cat's and, and uh, Trav's pa awesome package that he sent me. That. And also, I got these. I can't remember how much these were. These are Lifesavers. Big Green Gummies. Sour Gummies. Yeah, you know, like different flavors right there and also when I did that Vigo's uh, red beans and rice video I know both uh, Mr. Dirty on Got the Munchies channel and also Carmel I think it's 1136 or something like that the number but I found this I gotta do a review on this Vigo's yellow rice you said how good this stuff was saffron yellow rice so I gotta do a review on that and uh I want to give a shout out to V1TTOO. Yeah, he asked me to give him a shout out and stuff. I said I would. And uh, he said that he's going to be joining the uh, Marines next year, so I'm proud of him. You know? And he did a video yesterday called uh, Exploding Pumpkin Halloween Edition. And I, it seems like I got gypped growing up in science class because they never did cool stuff like that. In his video, you know, the guy was. He joked around. He's trying to be like uh, Bill and I joking around a little bit. And uh, he had the pumpkin. And he put some chemicals. And then he he put like a face mask on. He put some other chemical. He put the lid on the pumpkin, the top part on, and started smoking. And all of a sudden, it exploded. And what happened was he must have like pre-carved the pumpkin. And the pre-carved pre part popped out. And it was like the face carved of the pumpkin. With like the, they looked like flames, like there was a candle inside. It was really cool. They never did cool stuff like that with us. I remember we did something with mercury. Uh, we dropped in some uh, solution, and a mercury would spin like that. It's probably it's pretty dangerous, but we did that. That's probably like the coolest reaction thing we ever did in science class. I remember doing that in what in eleventh grade in chemistry, I think it was. We did that, and. Uh, I think that's about it. I feel really bad for Tens22. Someone deleted his channel. And like I said, he's starting up a new channel called Tens uh, Reloaded. So I wish him luck and I subscribed. I made a video for him and I feel bad for the guy, you know. And also, I get, I did something. I'll do a small review on this. I know Cat doesn't like these, but these are Armor Vienna Sausages. These are, I did like the jalapeno ones, I think. These are reduced fat. And this is 70 calories per serving. Let's see how many servings are in here. 50? No, it's only two and a half, so that's still a lot. Because these probably aren't the healthiest thing. And this is supposed to be reduced fat. These were 20 cents a piece. I couldn't believe it. And I opened them up, and this is what they look like inside. <laughs> get it real close. Be very scary and get all gonzo. And... Look at that. That's what they look like inside. And they're made with chicken, beef, and pork added in chicken broth. And, uh, and pull one out. I said, this is what they look like. 3D. That's what they look like. And pretty good. What I usually like doing, but this isn't the main review, it's just a little review. It's putting, like, uh, barbecue sauce. This is the cherry chipotle from, uh, Green Mountain Grills. Pour a little bit in here. I bought a whole bunch of these. 20 cents a piece. Yeah, I bought like 20 of them or something like that. I'll eat them over the course of the time. You know. I do a little review of it. This is a different type of barbecue sauce. It's not like the bullseye, which I really love. It's not bullseye, but it's pretty good. This is what it looks like with the, the barbecue sauce on it. 
and dip this in here. The spoon right here. Try not to get a giant, make a giant mess. See. Hmm. I, I know. Dan doesn't like it. I love these things. Cause I got into eating Vienna sausage off when I was in Germany. They had like a thing where uh, in Linderhof I was going for TLM uh, TLM Tams uh, training. It was like a no PLL Tams. The PLL is prescribed load list where they have stuff on the micro fish. That'd be like a list of army inventory and stuff like that. Even though that wasn't my MOS, but I I they paid me to go over there to take a class for two weeks. And it was weird. It was a place that had like guard dogs and stuff like that. And it was a giant building and they had like their own little PX, which is like the army thing. And someone would unlock and they'd run that and they'd work in the PX taking the money and stuff like that. And they had being a sausage. I asked, is that stuff any good? And my one, the one roommate I had said it was really good. So I tried it. I loved it ever since. And then they have different ones. They have like barbecue sauce and hot sauce and stuff like that. And this is a reduced fat one. It's supposed to be healthier, but they're not really that healthy. But I really like them. If you like Vienna sausage, you'll love these things. Armor, Vienna sausage, reduced fat. All right. Let's see. Well, four and a half grams total fat, 1.5 grams saturated fat, no trans fat. All right. Well, anyways, this is the main reason why we're here. That's a little review on that. I really like that stuff. The main review is right here. Because I remember uh, when I got the Munchie show, uh, <clears throat> he did a review of those uh, creamy dill pickle chips from Hairs. And I said, if I find those at uh, Dollar General, I'll definitely do a review of those. And he said, uh, if I tried these, the plastic dill pickle chips, I never have. But I found them now, so I'm going to try them now. And these are made from Snyder's of Hanover. See the little Groucho Marx looking guy there. And on the back it says, uh, you know, Snyder's of Berlin, you know, of, uh, oh no, this isn't Hanover, this is Snyder's of Berlin. What am I talking about? Yeah, this is from Berlin, PA. Snyder's of Hanover from Hanover, PA. And that's like, they don't have anything in common. I think they're competing with you. Yeah, when well, you're not connected with Snyder's of Hanover, Inc. of Hanover, PA. They're probably competing against one another. Well, anyway, it says, how about an exciting twist for your taste buds? Just when you thought Snyder's captured every taste in the sun, that favorite classic dill pickle flavor and crunch have been added to its signature potato chip. Every bite will excite your senses and leave you wanting more. They are the perfect addition to your lunch or just uh, grab a handful for that unique burst of mouth-watering dill flavor. You're going to love our new twist on snacking. Open these up. This is a giant bag. I can't remember how much this was. 9.5 ounces. That's not bad. Bad uh, for a bag of chips. I mean, they have like that distinct uh, the pickle smell. Well, I smell the dill. It smells pretty good. Uh, and I went to Walmart like, pickle chips. I love pickle chips. I, I have to have these. The niche trash you need are any good, okay? Let's see. This is what they look like. I don't have any broken looking ones. Like it's translucent, the light sh uh, shining through it looks like a neon chip. You know? Time out. Hmm. These have a good dill flavor to them. You see a little uh, green sprigs, or maybe you can't. It's like probably like little things of dill. That's what you're tasting. Mm. Now these are pretty good. They're not uh, a little bit sour, tart, which is perfect for dill chip. Not bad at all. Like I said, Bill, big uh, crunch since 1942. I think these are pretty good.
And I like these. It's a little bit milder pickle taste, but some of them like a real overwhelming pickle taste, which I don't mind either. This is a little bit milder, but it's really good. I mean, if you eat a few, you'll get a real uh, sense of the pickliness of the chips. Here, let me try these. Here, I hope these are good. I already said they were good, but they did try that out. Mmm, those are scrimmed into the emptions. I love them chips. I sure do. Yeah, they, they really are good. But I highly recommend uh, Stars of Berlin's uh, classic uh, pickle dough pickle chips and potato chips. I think they're really good. I said shout outs also to Trav. I just talked to him and. Yeah, he's a, he's a great guy, and uh, Cat W. Magic, she's an awesome lady. Patrick Barton, awesome. I, I still haven't seen your last video with all the question marks, so i got to check it out. Uh, oh, everybody else, and like I said, uh, shout-outs again to v one ttoo and got the Monty Show for telling me about the plastic dill pickle chips. Because when you mentioned that on that thing, I, I said i got to try them out whenever I, when I find them. And also for that uh, Vigo's Yellow Rice, whenever I uh, make this, I'll do a review of this stuff, too. And, of course, the Halloween candy, but that's all until, that's all after I'm done with the stuff that Trav and Kat sent me, you know. So, uh, until next time, please like, share, and subscribe. And, <clears throat> and uh, oh, God, take care of my legion. Oh, no, this too. And Norfolk Chili Head, too. He's awesome. Yeah, he said that he was going to go see a carcass, and then he, he had some problems. He couldn't afford the hotel and the train ride. I feel bad for him. Carcass rules, man. They really do. All right. Take care, my legion.